I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but laptop cooling pads are not as effective as you might have hoped. At least not the cooling pads that most people have. Hear me out. I want to preface this video by saying that my experience might differ from the experience of a lot of other people out there. There are some people who swear that cooling pads have helped them tremendously, but in my experience or in my case, I have used three different laptop cooling pads and none of them really gave me the results that I was expecting. I'm sure a lot of people watching this video are dealing with severe overheating on their laptops, or maybe the fans really ramp up whenever you try to do something and it just sounds so loud. Your laptop starts sounding like a plane is about to take off or something like that. Trust me, I know how you feel. Before I upgraded to the Lenovo Legion 5, I was using a 2013 HP Envy, and that laptop was quite problematic to say the least. Aside from the fact that it was old, it had a metal chassis that would get really, really hot whenever I tried video editing or even some light gaming. And I figured maybe a laptop cooling pad would help. So I borrowed a really small one from my friend and I should have known given the size that it wasn't going to perform. That's what she said. <laughs> I quickly realized this wasn't going to do anything to help, so I got another cooling pad with two fans and a higher RPM, hoping that this would significantly reduce the temperature of the laptop. Nope, I was fooling myself as performance was pretty much exactly the same. I mean, whether the cooling pad was turned on or turned off, as soon as I opened Premiere Pro, the fans would really ramp up in speed and the noise would be really, really loud. The cooling pad only served to help get more airflow into the intake of the laptop that was underneath. And that was where I ran into another problem because the holes were just too small. Wait. I mean, the intake vents at the bottom of the laptop were just too small. They were just these small slits at the bottom of the computer and air would have a difficult time getting in there. Unlike the Legion 5, which has much bigger holes at the bottom for better airflow. At that time, I didn't really understand what was going on. I just felt like since I had gotten a cooling pad, the performance was bound to get better and, you know, things were going to improve. Again, I was wrong. After using the cooling pad for a couple of months, I ran into an issue with the hard drive of the laptop and it crashed and I needed to get another SSD and a couple of repairs later, I was like, okay, this cooling pad isn't as effective as I would have wanted. So what did I go and do? I bought yet another cooling pad, but this one ended up being a cooling pad and a laptop stand combination. So at least even if it wasn't effective as a cooling pad, I would still get a laptop stand out of it. And it was this particular cooling pad that introduced me to a very big problem that I did not notice with the previous cooling pads. And that was the amount of power that this pad was drawing from the computer. Now the HP Envy had a really bad battery life. I mean, it's really old, but the battery life had degraded a lot. So I barely used it without it being plugged in. And the few times that I did, you know, unplug the laptop, I realized that if the cooling pad was plugged in, it was really just drawing power out of the computer at an extraordinary rate. Now, I don't know if this is a problem with that particular model of cooling pad, but I just feel like if you're gonna use a very powerful cooling pad with your laptop, then you're going to have to make sure the laptop is plugged in at all times to avoid excessive power drain. Now, fast forward a couple of weeks with this new cooling pad slash laptop stand, and as you would expect, it still wasn't as effective as I would have hoped. And that made me realize something. The performance of a computer is not solely dependent on how cool it is or how you manage the thermal regulation. I mean, it does help, but there are so many other factors that are to be considered, some of which we're not gonna go into today. What I'm trying to say is, there are some aspects that you have to consider if your computer keeps overheating or performing slowly if you're using a cooling pad. Sometimes getting a cooling pad might not be the solution you need. There are some other things you can take a look at, such as replacing the thermal paste, opening up the laptop to clean out the fans, because if there is an accumulation of dust in the fans, the laptop is not able to cool itself effectively and it will continue to overheat. Fast forwarding a little more, I had to leave Ukraine because of the war going on right now. And of course, I left my cooling pads, laptop stand, everything there. And when I got back to my country, I bought a new laptop, which is the Legion 5. Now I was thinking how best could I manage, you know, thermal regulation on this computer. And I know some wonderful people out there suggested, oh, why don't you just put the computer in a refrigerator and it will be good to go. 
That is not something that I am willing to try right now. But if any of you do it at home, then let me know in the comment section and I would be very interested to see if it's effective or not. And if you're still watching the video at this point, then leave a snowflake emoji in the comment section below and a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. After all my experiences with laptop cooling pads and going through the comments of the previous videos that I made, I decided a cooling pad might not necessarily be the best way to go. So I decided to opt for a laptop stand instead. Now this laptop stand has a couple of advantages over the cooling pad in the sense that it is less bulky, it is easily collapsible so you can take it around with you wherever you go. It's quieter because you know there are no fans spinning so it doesn't make any noise and it does improve the air circulation around the laptop helping the fans cool the computer more effectively. And the best part is it's not going to do any damage to your wallet. And speaking of wallets, are you proud of that big bulky thing you're carrying around in your pants? That's where Exter comes in. They make amazing, high quality, compact wallets that are durable, elegant, and very functional. They also have variants with air tags in case you want to ensure that you can track your wallet all the time. And if you're not an Apple user, they have a tracker card which you can put in your wallet and know where it is at all times. If you're interested in getting any of these wallets, you can shop using the link in the description or using my code TECHPHD for a 25% discount. As I was saying, a laptop stand can be significantly cheaper than a cooling pad, especially if you're planning on getting a higher end cooling pad. If you're not really a hardcore gamer or you're not mining Bitcoin or something on your laptop, maybe consider getting a laptop stand instead. You can get any old laptop stand for 10 or $15 on Amazon. I will have some links in the description below so you can check out some of the stands that I recommend or some cooling pads that I think would be the most effective. Now, full transparency, these links are affiliate links, so I get a little commission from each sale at no cost to you. So you're helping me, you know, with the channel and it's a lot of support. But if you already have a laptop stand or a laptop cooling pad and your computer is still overheating, then I think it might be time to, you know, open it up or take it to a professional, let them get the fans cleaned out, put some new thermal paste and you should be good to go. But if all else fails, and I mean, if everything else fails, then put it in the fridge and let's see what happens. Okay though, okay. That was just a joke though. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, then let me know in the comment section below and okay. That was just a joke though. Anyway, I could. That was just a joke though. Anyway. That was just a joke though. Anyway, I talked. That was just a joke though. Anyway, I know I mentioned the Lenovo. Okay. That was just a joke though. Anyway, I know I mentioned the Legion 5 a couple of times in this video. And if you want to check out the full review, it is right here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That we drunk in the spirit, no, we don't stay sober. We don't stay sober. Hey, fly as a jet, but with no layovers. With no layovers. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, we finna break both.